Until recently, just over half of Tahoe's water first arrived as snow. If it didn't fall directly on the lake, snow fell on the Tahoe Basin's mountains, forests, meadows, and wetlands. When snow melts, the water flows downhill. It eventually flows to one of the lake's 63 tributaries, or it might flow directly into the lake. The past century has brought some dramatic changes to Tahoe. Urbanization has destroyed 75% of the Tahoe Basin's marshes and half of its meadows. These sensitive lands are home to a rich diversity of plants and wildlife. They also act as natural sponges when rivers overflow their banks, and as natural filters for stormwater pollution. The water is cleaner when it flows from the wetlands into Lake Tahoe. But because of climate change, most of Tahoe's precipitation now comes as rain. When rain runs off Tahoe's roads and parking lots, it picks up pollutants like fine sediments, motor oil, grease, and litter, and can wash it into the lake. One way the League to Save Lake Tahoe aims to keep Tahoe blue is by advocating for funds to restore the functions of our wetlands and meadows. This includes important projects like the restoration of the meadows above Meeks Bay on the west shore, and the restoration of the Upper Truckee Marsh, part of the largest remaining wetland in the Sierra Nevada. Funding for projects like these is threatened by Washington budget cuts. Get involved. Find out how you can promote restoration at Lake Tahoe. Visit keeptahoeblue.org forward slash wetlands to learn more. <laughs>